Hi, the Layers panel is essential for any project in Photoshop. Let me show you a few things that will dramatically improve your workflow. We already talked about creating layers and groups, so let's dig a little deeper. Say you're not familiar with this project and you want to know what's inside these three folders. You could do it manually, but what if this project had 50 folders? What then? Here's my tip. Before you click on any closed group, hold down Control and this will expand them simultaneously. As you see, all three have now opened up, but notice there are two other folders here that are still closed. That's because this command only works on first level groups. Still, it's a neat trick and it works the other way around. Hold Control again and this will collapse all three. Easy stuff. If you really want to expand everything, here's how you do it. Hold Control and Alt while you click. Now those level 2 groups are opened as well. Use the same command to collapse them. Another interesting feature in our Layers panel is this eye symbol. This controls the layer's visibility. Say I only want to work on the right flyer and the left one is distracting me. Not a problem. Simply click on the folder's eye icon and it will disappear. It's not deleted, it's hidden. Notice all the layers inside this group have greyed out icons on their left side. That's because you can't make a layer visible if it's inside a hidden folder. And that makes sense. Look at what happens if I try to enable the visibility of the first layer inside this folder. This will activate the eye icon for the group because Photoshop understands I want to work on it. That's something to be aware of. Moving forward, you can toggle any layer's visibility. What's nice is that you can hold down your left mouse click and scroll up or down. This is how you can easily hide a bunch of layers with little to no effort. The same thing applies vice versa if you want to reveal them. But say your project is huge, maybe it has hundreds of layers. How can you hide everything except one particular layer or folder? Well, here's the trick. Hold down Alt or Option and click on the layer or folder you want to remain visible. And there you go. Everything is now hidden, and if you click again, everything will be revealed. I know this is a lot of information, but don't worry, I've created a nice cheat sheet. You can check it out anytime you want to refresh your memory. Let's continue with another useful piece of information. Some layers go together more than others. For example, if I disable this top one, we can see the following. Texture, Base and Shadow Base. If I move each of them to the side, we can see they form one important component on my canvas. We could group them together, but here's an alternative. We can create a link between them by using a command from our Layers panel. I'll select all three of them and I'll focus on the bottom of this panel. This very first icon, this chain, represents the command Link Layers. Once I click it, you'll notice the same icon has appeared next to each layer. Now I can select only one layer, say the base, and I can move it to the side and all the other ones should follow suit. Oops, we have a problem. It seems there was another element that was related to this component. It's this folder called Texture Shadow. Not a problem. I'll select it along with any one of these three layers. I don't need to get all four together. If you select one layer that's already linked, that's going to be enough to create the connection between all four. Great, let's try this again. Yep, perfect. They all move together. If you want to unlink a certain layer, just right-click it. From this list, look for Unlink Layer. Now this is independent, but the other three are still connected. If you want to break that chain, select them all and click on this icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Finally, I want to show you a few ways to duplicate any layer or group. The method I use most is through the hotkey Control J. Let's test it out on this top group. OK, a new folder has appeared and it's called Left Flyer Copy. I'll move it on the canvas so you can see it better. Let me apply the same command, Control J, on any layer. There you go, here it is. OK, let's delete so I can show you another option. Hold down your Alt key and drag this group anywhere in your Layers panel. Wherever you release, that's where Photoshop will create a duplicate. Here it is. The great thing about this option is that you can perform it on the canvas as well. Select one layer you want to copy, say this one. Now in your work area, I'll hold Alt and drag. This way I'm hitting two birds with one stone. I'm replicating this layer, but I'm also repositioning it. Let go of your mouse click and that's it. Feel free to test it out. 
The last option, the one I discourage, is you right-click inside the Layers panel. From this list, choose Duplicate Layer. A new window will appear asking you for the new layer's name as well as its location, meaning inside the document or in a new one. Hit OK and it does the same thing. My advice is you stick with Ctrl J or the Alt Drag technique. OK, this wraps up this lecture, but stay tuned for the next one because it's closely related to this subject.